Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome you all for today's live phone in program. This series of program is organized by the Department of Telecenter for Persons with Communication Disorders, AISH, Mysore. The All India Institute of Speech and Hearing, popularly known as AISH, is a pioneer national institute under the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India. Since last 56 years, the institute has been relentlessly working for the benefit of persons with communication disorders. One of the major objectives of the institute is to create an awareness among the common man and to educate them about the issues related to communication disorders. This program is in line with the objective. The topic for today's program is the use of in the use and importance of technology in the field of speech and hearing in rehabilitating individuals with communication disorders. This topic has gained a lot of attention in the recent period. Technology has played a critical role in treating individuals who face challenges from various communication disorders. Innovative technology in the form of apps and softwares has led to fast and accurate diagnosis and effective rehabilitation of persons with various communication disorders like speech and language disorders, hearing problems, voice problems, stuttering and many more. Nowadays, technologies have made a huge difference in clinical service delivery. For these reasons, one needs to seek technologies that are not only advanced but also most appropriate for the user. With this brief overview about the topic, let us begin the program. I am Jyoti, working as an audiologist in the Department of Audiology, AISH, and I will be moderating today's session. Joining with me are three subject experts from AISH. We have with us Dr. Ajish K. Abraham, Professor of Electronics and Acoustics, Department of Electronics, who has been here in Naish since last 20 years. His areas of expertise include hearing aid technology, augmentative and alternative communication devices, technologies for diagnosis, diagnosis and rehabilitation of persons with communication disorders, audio, audio and signal processing, etc. We welcome you, sir. We also have Dr. Ruben Thomas Vergis, scientist in the Department of Speech Language Sciences, AISH. He is currently serving as Member Secretary of Augmentative and Alternative Communication Unit of AISH and is also involved in the assessment and management of clients using AAC devices. We also welcome you, Dr. Ruben. Thank you. So we also have with us Mr. Vikas, who is working as an audiologist in the Department of Audiology. His expertise is in diagnostic audiology, hearing gates, and electroacoustic measurements. We also welcome you, Dr. Vikas. Remember, our resource persons would be having live interaction with you all. Once again, a very warm welcome to you all. Yes, we are all we are ready to answer all your queries. Let us start. Uh, Dr. Rajesh, we will begin with you. Uh, suppose uh, there is a person who has lost his speech and hearing abilities. Can he still communicate? Are there any apps or aids for him to communicate? Uh, there are many options for such people to communicate. So in general it comes under the uh, heading augmentative and alternative communication devices. Now with the popularity of the software apps and mobile apps, mm -hmm. There are several options uh, which, which is available in different uh, languages for different age groups and persons with different kinds of uh, disabilities. So we have an augmentative and alternative communication unit in the institute which is exclusively for uh, such people and uh, we have the facility to provide them with uh, custom built devices support them with the training on how to use those devices and uh, therapy based on uh, the usage of such devices. Okay, um, okay. Uh, moving on with the next question. Dr. Rupin, 
uh, if a person with speech language or hearing problems is unable to come to Aish uh, physically, uh, are there any options available? Uh, would you please elaborate on that? Yes, uh, with the motto of reaching to the unreached, our institute has a specialized center called as Telecenter for Persons with Communication Disorders. So, uh, if they have any difficulty in reaching us through the geographical locations, or else if they have any physical impairments to uh, reach our institute, then this center provides teleguidance, teleorientation, uh, teletherapy, as well as teleassessment. Few of the important things which I want to say about this center is that it has got few of the state-of-the-art facilities. So, we have got ICT-based uh, uh, support system so that means the therapy won't get any interrupt interrupted then uh, we have got dedicated staff and who are all experienced in the field of communication disorders so they will do the online assessment online therapy so that is going to surely help the clients and the third thing is that we have got a dedicated website that is called as www.ishtcpd.com when they go in that, there are a lot of clinical resource materials. So that is be very helpful for parents because in different languages it is there and also for different uh, communication disorders. So they treat a lot of disorders, let it be child language disorders like uh, delayed speech, stuttering and also for adult disorders like stroke, Parkinson's, etc. Okay, like uh, during this pandemic also yes, we pandem had a uh, lot of uh, yes. teleservices, yes. can you just uh, brief yeah. on that? Yeah, so teleservices that uh, what we did was that uh, we catered not only for our own uh, uh, Indian population, it was through the globe we catered, so Middle East, uh, it, uh, US, Australia, so people from there also catered and, uh, and most of them showed a positive impact also through this uh, television because if it was not given their language would have been that more delayed so the earlier the better and we did not waste time i felt it was very good so we bridged the gap right? yes we did so um, um, uh, mr vikas uh, can uh, can a person test his ears at home how can we use the technology as a tool for audiological evaluation uh, to continue with the Ruben, as is specified, there are a lot of uh, technology based uh, applications and uh, through the smartphone, uh, nowadays everything can be tested. So similar to the audiological evaluation also, uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, apps uh, available for uh, uh, testing purposes. Recently, uh, we have uh, even uh, at the Department of Audiology, we launched an uh, app which can use for uh, hearing assessment. Basic uh, uh, what a person needs is just a, a smartphone which can uh, download the app from the uh, Google Play Store and once uh, the, the app is downloaded they just need a earphones, a simple earphone which can uh, route the signal. With that uh, already the you know the guidelines how to follow uh, the uh, procedure is being explained in the app itself. So one who can sit at home, uh, people who can't move out of house because of maybe the health situations or due to the pandemic or any other reasons can uh, test the, uh, the hearing capacity uh, sitting at home itself uh, and uh, uh, they can uh, uh, evaluate and see the uh, app will give the result as uh, 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 pass or refer so one uh, can uh, uh, who has have passed the test it easily indicates that it is a, a normal hearing so otherwise they can uh, with the refer criteria if they feel that, that uh, the results are uh, referred they can come to uh, uh, department of college anytime to get the complete evaluation and see what is the problem okay are these uh, uh, are there uh, are these apps freely downloadable yes this uh, what the uh, apps are almost freely downloadable and easy accessible also a person uh, uh, anybody who is uh, you know uh, just reading the uh, guidelines can follow the app easily they require any accessories to uh, along with the smartphone. Yes, and just a basic earphones is sufficient enough to uh, you know uh, uh, to run the test. Okay, uh, to the next question, uh, Doctor Rajesh. Um, hearing aids are provided at Ash. So, what are the benefits if a person procures a hearing aid from our institute? Um, from last uh, twelve years. Uh, we are supplying hearing aids from Aish, uh, hearing aid of any technology and any uh, manufacturer uh, is available in the institute. 
Now, when you take a hearing aid from the institute, uh, the first benefit which you get is the cost benefit. So we are uh, giving the hearing aid at a rate which is 40% uh, less than the market rate. The second benefit which you get is that the hearing aids which are given from the institute has got almost two years warranty. So during that time, any problem uh, for the hearing aid, the institute is responsible. The institute collects the hearing aid from you and then get, get the problem solved from the manufacturer. Even after those two years, uh, we have a hearing aid repair center, dedicated hearing aid repair center at the institute. Any time in your lifetime when you face any problem with the hearing aids which are given from the institute, you are free to come to the institute and the institute is responsible for the repair. Sometimes you may not be able to come physically, then we have the uh, uh, services by post also. You can send the hearing aid by post to us, we will look into the hearing aid, we will tell you how much is the cost required for uh, setting it right and once you uh, send the uh, required uh, amount, the hearing aid will be repaired and will be sent back to you by post. Uh, there is a uh, WhatsApp uh, number also available. Uh, I will tell you this that WhatsApp number at the end of this program. So you can directly uh, call that WhatsApp number and very sometimes the problems may be a little small. Uh, like um, there, there is some uh, swelling sound coming or uh, the voice is a uh, little feeble or some disturbances in the voice. For all that, uh, we have the services uh, through WhatsApp also. So these are the benefits which you get uh, while taking the hearing aid through our um, institute. Okay, thank you. Um, we were uh, talking about uh, online uh, tech services. So Dr. Rupin, uh, during this pandemic uh, situation, online therapy had, uh, has gained a lot of popularity. As it, is con as it consumes a lot of screen time, uh, will this lead to any other issues related to um, prolonged screen time in children with com communication disorders in particular? Yes, uh, so what I want to tell is that whenever we are using uh, mobile apps, etc. with kids, we, sh we have to follow uh, guidelines given by the Indian Academy of Pediatrics. That means that according to age, this much screen time is needed. So we also provide that. Second thing is that uh, we don't provide a one hour uh, full uh, session for them. We give them breaks in between. So in that breaks, we ask them to do uh, physical activity. That is, they can go to the kitchen and get something. Or uh, they can play uh, games with their siblings. Like that, there is an environment of physical activity also. Third thing what uh, we uh, recommend is that an interactive model. Interactive model is that where uh, the clinician, uh, the parents, as well as the client is involved. So there are three people who is involved and they are giving the therapy. Because usually what you see is that parents uh, give the mobile phones to their kid and they go. So there is no interaction. It is just uh, child is seeing, seeing, seeing and there is no communication happening. So that is also known. So what I recommend is that if you follow all this, then you can reduce most of the screen time uh, problem. That's why it, always you contact a qualified SLP, take therapy from them, then you can get better uh, results. So uh, you, you are saying that you uh, follow the guidelines given by the SLP yes. over phone, yes, and then they do at home. The yes. mother and child do a one-to-one -one interaction involve all the family members yes. and do a therapy, thereby reducing the screen time for the children. Yes. Thank you, uh, Dr. Uh, Susan. So, uh, Mr. Vikas, uh, we have uh, hearing aids of various costs, varying from 5,000 to 2.5 lakhs. So, they are available at our institute. So, how can a person, uh, before this question, can we answer yes. this one? Hello? 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 Yes? Yes, sir?
So, depending on these, there are various technology areas which has come up uh, 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 for them for to meet it, to meet all the needs of this person. So, to talk about this, we talk initially as number of channels. So, the channels start with say four channels. It goes up to 32 channels, 64 channel areas. So, uh, the higher the number of channels, the higher will be the cost. And also there will be, you know, uh, the, the quality of the hearing aid will be uh, better when as the, you know, channels increase. So one person who uh, 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 come to us, uh, we explain uh, regarding all the features of the hearing aid and tell them, the council them, uh, how it meets uh, their communication needs. That will be channels, the, uh, as I said, the uh, outside the uh, uh, noise reduction algorithms, that's what we say. Hello. Hello. Yeah, good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. I just wanted to have an inquiry regarding uh, hearing aid. Okay. So I just got the number from the internet, so I just wanted to make an inquiry. My name is Ram Kumar. Yes. And I'm calling from Bangalore. And this inquiry is for my father. Okay. And then, uh, okay. So I, I have a uh, Yes, yes, we were all, uh, um, talking about this only. So, uh, we have our expert with us, Mr. Vika. So, we, you, he will be answering your question. Yeah, sure, thank you. Uh, what, what's the age of the father, sir? Uh, he's 60 years old, sir. Okay. Uh, the evaluation has been done. Yeah, 
actually uh, uh, the recent trend has come that you know the uh, uh, the, the features or the the style of the hearing aids and cost there is no difference. It are uh, the the smallest hearing aids long ago. Uh, uh, I wanted to uh, show the the smallest hearing aids, uh, the CIC and ITC. Uh, these hearing aids were expensive uh, long ago, but recent trend has come up so that the the hearing aids which were available at the lower cost are having these you know styles right now. Only that's uh, the as I said, the higher cost will be for the features which are incorporated inside this. So the technology advancements, as I said, the noise reduction and the uh, directionality of the microphones, all those should be uh, you know in a working in a higher way in a higher cost areas. But doesn't mean that the selection of the area should be only based on the looks, but rather than the features what is incorporated in the area. So as I uh, we were answering this call, uh, his, he had doubt regarding the hearing aid selection. Again, the same uh, uh, criteria was which cost hearing aids to buy. So as I answered, so rather than going for a cost, so what is his communication needs? What is uh, now as, as we don't have the what is the uh, loss? How much is the degree of loss or what is the type of loss? So we have to have an evaluation and see if the hearing aids, the, the style of the hearing aids will suit them or not. So again, as I said, the, uh, the, uh, the features will be the same, but the capacity or the power in the hearing aid might differ, which will not fit the, uh, the higher uh, degree of hearing loss. So uh, the CIC or the ITC hearing aids, what we say completely in the canal, uh, that might not fit the uh, proper senior or proper category. So we need to have an evaluation and see uh, which style of hearing aid will fit and based on the communication needs, we can see which technology will suit the person. So not every style will fit each person. It depends on the degree of hearing loss, type of hearing loss, all those things has to be considered. And it depends on his uh, environment of work, uh, if, he, if he is staying only at home, uh, some of the features which are uh, available with a higher cost may not be of any use to him. So it depends on his uh, actual um, environment where he is going to use the hearing aid. So that also contributes a lot. So we'll take this call. Yes, please. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please go ahead, sir. Thank you very much for uh, asking this question. It's a very relevant question which we have been hearing from many, many people like you. Uh, but um, uh, luckily, uh, you know that we, we have uh, this uh, Zoom app, Google Meet, 
uh, which are all used for online meetings. So all of them have this live captioning op option. And uh, you must be aware that if you are seeing a view YouTube video, you have an option there to uh, select the live captioning. Okay, so if caption is available, you would be able to see that. And that feature is available with most of the online meeting platforms now, whether it is uh, Webex or Zoom or Google Meet, uh, that option is available. The only thing is you have to enable that option. Yeah. Yes. Now, now when, if you are using these apps for the meeting, like uh, if you are using Google Meet or Zoom, so irrespective of the mobile, the captioning is available. The captioning is available with that platform, not with the mobile. So irrespective of whichever mobile you use, you can have the captioning. Even with the YouTube uh, videos, when you are viewing the YouTube videos, the YouTube has got an option for captioning, that is irrespective of the device. Okay. 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 So you are talking about the live meeting. Okay. Okay. So for when you are uh, uh, using the, uh, that is the live meeting, as you said, uh, most of the latest uh, technology f te uh, mobile phones have got that online ca uh, captioning option. Okay, so if you uh, put it to that mode, it will give you the text. Okay, so, pardon? It will give you the live captioning. Live captioning will be there in the form of text. As you said, if are ah, not all the mobile. So if the mobile is very old, it may not be having. But if uh, the, if you have a mobile of let's say at least uh, two years. Uh, um, um, period, if you have purchased that mobile within two years period, that all those mobiles have got that option. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, Samsung also has. Samsung, yeah, Samsung has even MI mobiles now have that feature. facility will be available in all the mobiles. The technology is getting updated. Very soon it will be available in all the mobiles. Yeah, yeah. It, it will be available very soon. Very soon. Yes. Yes. Initially also I talked about uh, this facility, 
Uh, we have a full-fledged hearing aid repair center at the institute, uh, which can repair uh, the, the uh, trained personnel in, in the center, uh, is capable of repairing uh, any uh, type or any model of the hearing aid. Okay, so, um, uh, if you uh, happen to have any problem, uh, you can uh, use two modes for that to avail these services. First, you can directly come to the sender, give your hearing aid for uh, repair or service and make it uh, all right. The second mode is sending it through post. Okay, so with the letter uh, with, uh, which is addressed to director uh, H. Maiso, if you send the hearing aid by post, we will uh, receive it here. Uh, the moment we receive, we will give you a call that uh, we have received the hearing aid and what would be the approximate cost for a repair of the hearing aid. The moment we get confirmation and uh, uh, the amount from uh, you, then uh, the repair is uh, taken. Thank you. Hello? 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 Yes, good afternoon. Hey, ma. Yes. Yes. I have a dental patient, ma. The cream is in the left ear. I can't even expect to get up. Some kind of sound in the left ear, ma. Okay. Yes. I went to the private hospital. They suggested me to go for the dental masking device. Okay. I don't know. I don't have much idea about that, ma. I want to know what is that. Okay. Is it okay for? Okay, so you were uh, evaluated, you, are, you had your hearing testing done? Yes, ma'am. Oh. The hearing level is normal. Okay, okay. The hearing sensation only is like a trying sound. You can't even pick up like some kind of sound in the hmm. Okay, so we have our subject, subject expert, uh, Mr. Vikas. He will be answering your question. Okay. Hello, Archana. This is Vikas. Yes. Uh, since when you have this uh, ringing sensation? Okay, is it continuous? Uh, in some things, like mostly it will be continuous. And do you, feel, do you feel it's more during the silent backgrounds or quiet environments? In silent background, it's like uh, hearing very much. In noisy background, it's like it will be Okay, so uh, this, uh, uh, this, was, this started since three months. Was it associated with any ear infections or blocking sensation or anything like that? It was sudden? It was sudden, yes. Okay, so the evaluation, what you got done is three months back and it showed normal. Ah, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, there are two uh, modes what we usually try uh, for tinnitus session. Huh? Uh, usually, what we uh, train uh, for as masking was uh, what was recommended, tinnitus maskers. It doesn't have to be, you know, uh, always an uh, external device only. We have a lot of you know apps also available for these. Okay. Uh, uh, are you an Android user or iOS? Yeah, I can't get uh, your phone. Do you, uh, do, do you have a smartphone? Yes, I have. Okay. It, uh, it's Android phone or iOS app. Android phone. Android phone. Android phone. Okay, good. Uh, there are a lot of apps available in Google Play Store. You okay. can just go through Tinnitus Masker apps. Okay, just uh, the, there are uh, uh, apps that uh, can assess the type of tinnitus. Okay. It will uh, tell you to match the what type of tinnitus it is, uh, it is and the level of the tinnitus. Okay. And automatically then it will guide you to a program where you have you know different types of maskers. So uh, environmental sounds or different types of you know uh, the, uh, sounds which are soothing. Not exactly, it has to be, you know, a, a kind of noise. Mm. So that also acts as your uh, masking devices. So you, you can get it uh, installed in your uh, phone itself. Okay, sir. Yes, and uh, you can uh, uh, get the, uh, you know, testing done by yourself and then uh, the masking, uh, uh, you know, tinnitus maskers, if it is, uh, you know, uh, helpful, it will guide you there itself. Okay, okay, sir. Uh, uh, I, I guess we can help you out with the, we have a separate department TCPD. Okay. okay you can just uh, uh, call us, we will guide you 
uh, you know, to get the uh, through online mode itself, she can guide you regarding the uh, tinnitus and what type of you know masking or how the treatment can go ahead. Masking device, uh, we uh, actually comes with the hearing aid only. Hearing aids will have the masking, uh, uh, you know, tinnitus maskers as such. But as you have normal hearing, you know, uh, in the both the ears, you don't require as such a hearing aid. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so you need an external device. Your phone can act as an external device. Oh. But we will guide you which type of, you know, masker will benefit you. So that can be downloaded from uh, any, you know, uh, Google, uh, uh, Google itself, regular Google itself, mp3 formats, file will be available. So you can download from there or the apps will definitely help you. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, you can just uh, uh, call us, we will guide you throughout the procedure, the treatment procedure. Okay, okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you for calling, Archana. Yeah, we will yes. continue with that. So we were uh, discussing about the different modes through which uh, the hearing aids can be got uh, repaired from Aish. So we discussed about the uh, direct mode. Uh, the second one is by post. Again, the call is Hello. 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 Namaste, ma'am. Namaste madam. So, uh, uh, 10 years, uh, that, uh, uh, we, get 10 years uh, we can even try other modes of uh, communication. That is one mode in the AAC in the one mode. That is why we can, uh, uh, through machines, that is why therapy can work. So, this is just press mode at time only. Uh, sound so that he can express through this device so that is one way you can use so that is why we have a the AAC evaluation the AAC assessment protocol because all of us have to use the device so that we have to use the vision will be better we have to use the hand movements will be better we have to use sensory issues so now we have proper assessment we have different uh, modes so even we can uh, give sign language so uh, uh, sign language training kodaga agutte idatha device uh, through devices communication books it's a uh, different ways of uh, uh, methods in communication so adike neevu nam institute ke banni then we can do an evaluation adha admele nam best uh, uh, device kodaga agutte all the best uh, communication means kodaga agutte nam I can advise you. parents na sulpa elbodu maguna karkondu institute bara keli. Ile assessment maad bodu ange insuitable ide adu kada kagute. So interest ade. Sigade sigade. So neyo nim class student bage istondu interest ali question kele dekhe tomba dhanyavad aglo. Devato na parents ke onchur guide maadi institute ke ekals kodi na. So, So the third option uh, is by interacting uh, with the uh, personnel in the center through a WhatsApp contact number. So I'll uh, uh, give the WhatsApp contact number now. Those who are listening me can please note down. The number is 944-92-45392. I'll repeat, 944-92-45392. 944-92-45392. 
नाइन फोर फोर नाइन टू फोर फाइव थ्री नाइन टू सो इफ यू कॉल दिस व्हाट्सएप नंबर एंड इफ यू हैव एनी प्रॉब्लम इन योर हियरिंग एंड यू कैन हैव लाइव इंटरेक्ट विद द प्रोफेशनल एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम्स व्हिच आर वेरी माइनर इन नेचर कैन बी करेक्टेड थ्रू दिस व्हाट्सएप इंटरेक्शन ओनली सो देयर इज नो नीड फॉर यू टू कम हियर और to send the hearing aid here through this whatsapp interaction if the problem is very minor it can be solved at that level so these are the three different options which are available at the hearing aid uh, service center repair center of our institute thank you uh, dr ruben uh, can you please highlight on the recent apps which are developed for, uh, for speech therapy uh, which parents can use at home for children with uh, communication disorders yeah. Uh, recently there are a lot of apps which have come especially uh, for children there are something called as interactive flash cards so usually we have uh, flash cards which are just pasted on a sheet of paper but with interactive flash card app the uh, there is movement there is animation there is sound and all so that will surely uh, bring a positive impact for children second thing is that even for articulation there are few uh, apps there is called as articulation station where uh, when a child is speaking he can uh, visualize through this app uh, how the different articulatory uh, organs are moving so that will help them to produce uh, uh, better uh, speech then we have got uh, uh, games so that to just uh, keep them interact a screen read is there uh, that they can use and also as i said uh, if the child is very severe and they have got multiple disabilities then they can uh, go for uh, different aac based apps like avas jello so all this will help them uh, to uh, कम्युनिकेटो for a uh, cognitive uh, challenged uh, clients there are uh, luminosity there is an app that gives lot of activities uh, for short term memory activities uh, digit span remembering some activities so all this will help them uh, in uh, having better communication thank you thank you very much um dr ben um so uh, mr vikas so uh, we were talking about hearing aids so uh, there are there is lot of uh, so before that we'll take this call hello 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 yes ha uh, this is uh, yes, anandri am i okay kerala to nanu vilikkene parnalu parnalu उदेशन डेवलपमेंट स्टेज लांग्वेज कम्यूनिकेशन पुलाफेटिकेशन आवेलबलपमेंट स्टेज इंग्लिश लांग्वेज अलबलो 
ഓക്കെ പിന്നെ സൈൻ ടോക്ക് ഇത് രണ്ടും ആണ് ഇപ്പം അവൈലബിൾ ആയിരിക്കുന്നത് സോ അത് സാറ് പറഞ്ഞ പോലെ നമ്മുടെ ഈ സൈൻ ലാംഗ്വേജ് ഒരു പേഴ്സൺ ചെയ്തത് അത് ഈ ആപ്പ് തന്നെ ഡിറ്റക്ട് ചെയ്തിട്ട് അതിൻ്റെ ടെക്സ്റ്റ് ആയിട്ടോ സ്പീച്ച് ആയിട്ടോ വരും അപ്പൊ അതാ ഇപ്പൊ തൽക്കാലമായിട്ട് യൂസ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് അതാണ് സാറ് പറഞ്ഞ പോലെ അത് ഡെവലപ്മെന്റ് സ്റ്റേജിലാണ് ഫുള്ളി ഫ്ലഡ് അല്ല അത് കുറച്ചുകൂടെ കഴിയുമ്പോഴത്തേക്ക് അത് ഫുള്ളി ഫ്ലഡ് ആയിട്ട് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് അത് യൂസ് ചെയ്യാവുന്നത് പക്ഷെ ഇത് രണ്ടും ഇപ്പൊ അവൈലബിൾ ആണ് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് അത് ട്രൈ ചെയ്യാം Uh, yeah, uh, she was asking about uh, an app which can convert sign language to text. So she has a friend who knows sign language but uh, when she talks in sign language, she doesn't have a knowledge of sign language so she is unable to understand. So she was asking about uh, such apps where, which can convert uh, sign to text. Okay, so most of these apps are in developmental stage because sign language itself is slowly getting uh, popularized. So we have uh, two apps as, um, um, as the names are given by Ruben. One is um, Let's Talk and uh, the third one, the second one is Sign Talk. Okay, so even these two are still in the developmental stage but for basic communication they can use these apps. Thank you. So uh, we have almost uh, come to the end of today's uh, program. Uh, before concluding, I request the resource persons to share their views and give a take home message to the audience. Uh, Mr. Vitas, can you please start? Okay. Uh, to talk about the perspective with respect to audiology, uh, the technology has been advanced uh, so much that we have to you know, adjust to the new technological features whatever is coming up. Otherwise, we lag behind. So, whenever it comes to the hearing aids or uh, the apps, uh, it's, uh, it's almost uh, readily available. We have to just update with it. And whenever uh, uh, I'm talking about the you know, hearing aid selection procedures, uh, kindly note there are a uh, lot of technological features which has come up uh, for especially uh, uh, getting poorer benefit from the hearing aids. Uh, there are, uh, uh, you know, uh, Uh, TV streamers, Bluetooth mics, uh, which can enhance the you know better perception of speech from uh, 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 you know so sound sources which are far from the uh, uh, speaker. So uh, the rechargeable uh, uh, hearing aids have come in the uh, recent trend, and across the features, you know the hearing aids have decreased their size also. So it doesn't mean that always the you know the bigger size hearing aids has to be fitting. fitted for the better uh, 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 hearing so all these features uh, have been uh, up, been updated uh, along uh, since decade almost so when you are just uh, opting for a hearing aid or opting for the new features just uh, uh, have a talk with uh, audiologists what best fits you uh, what advanced technology has come uh, which will suit you uh, for your communication needs just have a discussion uh, with the audiologist and then go ahead with the hearing aid selection procedure and that has come in the, even in the advanced uh, uh, technology of cochlear implants also so whenever uh, such needs are there uh, uh, just discuss with an audiologist see uh, what features will suit you then go ahead with the hearing aid trial once the hearing aid trial is done then uh, you can have a uh, better overview which is uh, Uh, beneficial to you with that that that, that feature will suit you or not so uh, uh, the audiologist will definitely guide you uh, what are the recent trends which are available we will we will we are ready to help you we will guide you with uh, uh, all the procedures that was informative thank you vikas uh, dr ruben yes uh, what i want to tell is that uh, technology has provided better service delivery uh, for uh, most of the clients who are having communication disorders Uh, but my take home message would be that technology should not replace humans like it will be like uh, what is a textbook without a teacher unless a teacher teaches or a, a professional qualified in it teaches it becomes much better so they should also uh, in uh, involve uh, the parents the sps everyone should be involved uh, the, with the kid when they are doing with the thing uh, technology based uh, apps or whatever software then we can have better output thank you dr 
Sir, uh, yeah, my uh, view is also uh, adding to what uh, Vikas and uh, Lupin has mentioned. Uh, we have uh, mm, uh, we have many. Please come. We have a follow-up. Yeah, please, please, please come. So we have uh, many technological options available now, but selection of the right technology, as Vikas told, what suits you the best is very important. Now, to do that selection, you need the services of a professional. So, a selection without getting professional advice, then you will be in trouble because you will lose the interest or lose the confidence to use that technology uh, and then you will feel that uh, nothing is going to help me. But if you select the right technology with a proper professional advice, definitely technology can um, make wonders for you. As uh, Ruben rightly said, technology cannot replace human. So when a professional advises you, it is from his rich experience. So when you add that experience uh, to your selection along with the technology, you will end up in a proper selection and that right selection uh, will help you to get all the advantages from that technology. Okay, so we have no more, no more callers. So, uh, Sir, uh, thank you, sir. Uh, I would like to add on and say that uh, when digital tools and technologies are used appropriately and with moderation, they can improve therapy delivery services and enhance learning experiences of all individuals in need. So I would like to thank all the resource persons for answering all the queries put forth. Uh, thank you one and all. I hope it was helpful to all you out there who participated in the program. Your feedback and suggestions are always welcome. For any queries and further assistance on tele-assessment and management of ear or speech and real, uh, you know, uh, language related problems, do contact us at 0821-250-2536. You can also mail us at aishtelecenter at gmail.com -E A-I-I-S-H-T-E-L-E-C-E-N-T-E-R at gmail.com Alternative, alternatively, you can also look into our website www.aishmysore.in for any further information and online appointments. So, we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much. Yeah, this one line I would uh, like to add on uh, all our behalf. Uh, I thank all those who have participated in this program, especially those uh, who have called from different parts of the country. We had calls uh, in uh, Malayalam, uh, from uh, Tamil Nadu and uh, from North also. So all of them uh, who have participated, uh, I think we have uh, answered you in the way which uh, you have expected. Uh, as Jyoti said, um, uh, if you have still uh, questions left with you, you are, you are free to communicate to us through uh, any uh, mode which you like, either through telephone or through the email or through our website, you are welcome to um, contact us at uh, any point of time. And uh, for, from uh, all of us, uh, thank you to all of you for attending this program. Thank you and uh, thank you Jodi for moderating this program. Thank you so much. Thank you.